strip club can be a, 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 a valued asset when it come down to the game. Yeah, I got oh, yeah, I got thirty thousand in one night out of the club. Mm. N- n- niggas in Dallas will tell you in your hometown. What? Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. So you know what I'm saying, me. So you know, uh, but 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 like I had this one dude uh, in Dallas. I mean Houston. Uh, he had two two white bras. They was on a bis and that, and I peeled them for both of the bras. Older player, you know what I'm saying. So uh, we uh, he called me and uh, he asked me. He said, uh, he, "Now I called him. I served him, and I asked him. I said, say, man, yeah, man.'" Uh, why don't you let me get the bra clothes, man? You know what I'm saying? They said they need, they want the clothes. He said, no, nah, man, I ain't giving them the clothes. I pay for them. I said, what you going to do? Well, <laughs> I said, I said, I said, you finna get the work now, pimp? He said, no, nah, man, I ain't finna get the work, man. I said, well, man, bring them clothes over here. And then the bra said, you got an ID too. You know, so I mean, so it's, it depends on, you know, who, who it is. You know, this was a veteran dude. His yeah. son was pimping, you know. So I, I, I treat different niggas when I was, I treat different niggas right now. If I didn't like you, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm a, I'm a call you, I'm a serve you, I'm a talk shit to you, and you know, and, and shit on you and everything. You know, like some niggas, you know, I just it was some it was one nigga I ain't gonna say his name, but he know who I'm talking about. I just follow him all over the country. Well, yeah, man, I'm in DC. Nigga, I be there in 24 hours, nigga. Yeah, nigga, had them hoes now. You know what I'm saying, nigga? I'm, and, and I said, and I'm gonna have some hoes to set. Now I'm coming to get yeah, it. Yeah, so so I, it, I had rivals like that, you know, and that's a lot of rivals in the game. Where, so you, know, you tell him you let him know I'm coming, nigga. Be that's ready, we, nigga. Because it was it, it was a no contest. It was a no contact okay. sport. So, sport. So like, if I wanted Martina, right, and you know Kenny Red was fucking with her, I would call Kenny Red. I said, where you at, nigga? He said, oh, nigga, I'm in Oakland. Nigga, I be in Oakland in the morning, and I would follow her around the track and sweat all day. And she gonna be like, Kenny Red, Pepe Ken sweat me, I can't get no money. He just fucking with me. He, he hollering me while, while I'm around the trick. Well, that nigga was supposed to holler at you around no trick. He's supposed to, man, man, you don't come between a uh, nigga, nigga, get out here and pimp then. You know what I'm saying? It'd be niggas like that. Wow. But, but you know, then it's niggas like, you know. And y'all wouldn't throw down, wouldn't fight. No, because no, no, no contest for it. But, but then you got people wow. in the game like, you know, like like Jab and all them niggas, I respected them niggas. You know what I'm saying? Certain niggas that I respected, you know, and I respect Kenny Red. That was yes, just an absolutely. example, that right? That was just mm-hmm. an yeah. example so, that never happened. So, you know, we we, 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 we <laughs> had respect for each other. You know what I'm saying? We, we wouldn't sweat each other, bro. You know what I'm saying? I would never sweat nobody, you know, like a veteran or somebody that's, you know, official. See, they don't show all of this in the movies. When you see movies, it, it seems like they'll go Man, you could, scratch and listen, listen. shoot somebody. Just, just, don't, just don't, on a woman. The book on the woman gonna do ain't been written yet. You know, especially a host. So, you know, we, you can't write a book in on the, the game. Making. Because, like I said, if, 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 if I was fucking with Tina, you know what I'm saying? Me, we have a different relationship. You know what I mean? Because she gonna respect my game. Because mm-hmm. the game I'm gonna give her gonna be uplifting. I'm gonna elevate her. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna mm-hmm. upgrade her. But, you know what I'm saying, I mean, if, say, somebody ain't got no game, you know what I'm saying, she'll know automatically. He come, and she could, she, you know, they, women, you know, it's in the game, they can smell when you're a sucker, right? If she see him on some sucker, she might tell him, nigga, <laughs> or nigga, you know what I'm saying, like he told that one nigga, you know, you, you saying the day about something, yeah, ho, nigga, whoa, 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 you know, you remember you saying, your mama or something, something you saying? Oh, yeah, square, like, if I was with a square, mm-hmm. you know, I'd rather be with some ism. You know, like, even if we're transitioning, because that's what this is about, our show, transitioning from the streets. But if I was with a square and I couldn't be with one, because the first time he called me a hoe, I'm going to roast him and be like, your grandma, that's why you had about 100 uncles. Your grandma, if she got a dollar for every man she free, she'll be a billionaire. <laughs> and I'll be in her his feelings. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But this is a... It's going to respect me. She never talked me. to me like that. You know what I'm See saying? What I would saying? never talk to the ism. We're going to respect uh, his all. Uh, you know what I'm saying? They're going to lift you up. They're going to love you because they know what you do and what you can do and 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 what you've been through. You yeah, know what I'm yeah. saying? And they respect hoes. We are queens. You know? Is it a thing where, like, when they, say somebody just become, uh, you know, in the game, um, trying to understand how to be a hoe because a lot of times the strip club a lot of times would was a different that's something different that's totally different but still you know you would see girls that would sometimes go in there and then still be trying to you know trying so to push. straddle the fence mm-hmm. yeah right. so how do y'all look at that engage that is that how do you do you look down upon taking, that are taking business away from you no it's not it's no. enough money out here it's okay. enough tricks out here for everybody, so mm-hmm. See, I, that's not the case. I, I, I like the strip club and I like the track, right? Because you know the track is where you know 
where you get famous at. You know what I mean? I, I used to go to track and you just see so many people from all over the country and so many, you know, so many players, you know, and, and, and niggas in the game, you know, it's like, it was like a, a family reunion, you know what I'm saying? Like, she'd be from uh, Oakland, you know, she'd be from Detroit, she'd be from Chicago, everybody be from all over, and everybody had their best cars, their best jewels on, and we'd be up at four or five o'clock in the morning every night, you know, but, and, but in the strip club, you know, like if you're in a city like Atlanta, you know what I'm saying, where the police might be a little bit more hard on Stewart Avenue, on P Street, you know what I'm saying? You you know, if you got the gang, see, when I put a, when I when I took my girls to strip club, they didn't go to the dance. Like if if, a, if if the DJ called my girl to dance, she gonna give them fifty dollars. Say go call that rookie bitch. Right. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but she using the strip club as a whole house. Right. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. she really she trying to stay you know, in the champagne she, she, room. She, yeah, she trying to be in the champagne room. So when they go in the champagne room, I gave them gang. You know what I'm saying? So when they go in the champagne room and still, you know. Uh, 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 you know, whatever, you know what I'm saying, uh, dancing, you know, they, they tell the trick to play with his dick, you know. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Jack yeah. off. And while yeah. he jacking off, you know what I'm saying, she telling him one thing that we're going to do this, we're going to do that, but she knows she can't do that because there's a security guard right there. But, you know, he can put his hand in his pants and jacket, but while she doing that, she said, can I order soda? So she order soda, and on, on every slip is a gratuity. So she'll write a gratuity for Thousand, two thousand. We never yeah, write the same yeah. one because they do a charge back. So she might leave out there one room, and before that trick even know it, you know what I'm saying? He didn't got played for about three, four thousand. Yeah, you know what yeah. I'm saying? Because the bitch got game, because I got game. Yeah, you know. Then, yeah. then if if he a live one, you know what I'm saying? She'd take him to Walmart, take him to a uh, uh, Target, and get uh, iPhones and all kind of shit. You know, because all that shit could be transferred to money. That's still right. that's still a trap. You know. And mm -hmm. then she. Uh, you know, if, if you're a live, live trick, you take them to the road. Like, then if that didn't work, I have her take them to the casino. And then all casinos let you get money off of your credit card, you know, with a 15% uh, surcharge. So yeah. she'd get them about 10, 15,000 out of the, the, the thing. So, you know, it's called running the trick up. Yeah. So a lot yeah. of bras, you know what I'm saying, you know, they go to the strip club to dance, you know. I always had them to pay the, the DJs off and they would never dance. Or if, you know, they trying to, like if, if, if Tina you know, was with me and say this girl name was Cheryl and Cheryl was just a square, but she had a trick that was live. She would pay the DJ to call her up so she could leave the trick and then she'd pull the trick and take him back in the VIP room, break him for three, four thousand. So it's the, it depends on the level yeah, of game. Yeah, right. yeah. You know so the strip club can be a, a, a valued asset when it come down to the game. Yeah, I got, oh, thir I got 30,000 in one night out of the club. Niggas mm. in Dallas will tell you, in your hometown, they'll tell you, yeah, ask Valentino. <laughs> I broke, I broke the record. You I broke, broke the record? I broke the record in Dallas. 30,000 mm, 30, in one night. 30,000 in one night. Yeah, just straight game. You know, no pussy selling, nothing but straight game. Straight game. Football, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Me, <laughs> NFL. You know what I'm saying? Me, tore his ass out, put a new hole in the game, the hole that his mama had and the hole that we gave him. <laughs> you know, he had two assholes when I got through with him. He was a big ass asshole. You know what I'm saying? But, but you know, this is, this is not to promote pimping. So for all full disclosure, I'm no longer pimping. You know what yeah, I mean? Correct. I'm the game. Both correct. Both correct. Tired. But, I just want to just, I, I tell people these stories and I talk about them in my books, not to glorify the game, just to show people that, you know, it's different levels to everything. You know what I'm saying? I, mean, I could, you know, just like I'm doing books now. You know what I'm saying? I mean, uh, we're doing documentaries. documentaries. You know, we're doing podcasts. You know, it's different levels. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we going to talk.